Northwest Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. And we're just about set to get this one underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Blue Devils and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. knocked out immediately after the catch. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Nice run, and he's brought down. throws it away. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. They'll certainly need better production from this offense as the game goes on. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. And he's tackled with the 38-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Set, Oklahoma! Throws it in a hurry. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Brought down at about the 47 yard line. These three and outs are quite simply momentum killers. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He gets hit out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Gaining five on the play. That brings him second and five. Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. Kill, kill. Kill. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 39. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Quick out to his receiver. And they push him out around the 49-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Got it, but he's gonna lose yards here. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. run to the left there. It looked like the defense might have been expecting the pitch on the option, but instead the quarterback kept it and converted here on third down. Fires it 
fires it out. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Call it a gain of 11 yards. First down. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Looks to him again, complete. There he goes. Tackle at the 27. Number 13 with the tackle at the 27 yard line. Got some open field. He's tackled at the 18. That makes it first and 10. Check by 46. He's on the run. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's the 11th play of the drive. the PAT. An 11 play, 80 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now is 7-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. From their own 21-yard line, second down. He steps out around the 24-yard line. Throws it deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Number 14, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He goes out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. The Blue Devils really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that there's a big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out in the field. They took that football and broke the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Duke is up a score. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. That's good for a of nine yards. First down. Check by 46. Check by 46. On the reception, look out, nobody there. And he hits him hard at the 22-yard line. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, easy, easy. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Makes it to the eight. 
that makes it first and goal. And they get nice yardage on that run. And that'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. 7-0, Blue Devil. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. All day. All day. They come out in a goal line set. Touchdown, Blue Devils. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They give to the tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against him. That's what happened. Fires out quickly to the tailback. tries to buy some time and they make the stop at the 39. They'll bring him down at the 35. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Second and 14. Ball on the 35. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. They bring him down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. That was awful. Come on, you guys can do better than that. What was it? The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Booming kick. Not a great return there. Boy, he got a hold of that ball. This punter has a big time leg, and you can see that when he gets a hold of a ball like that. Really goes. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's on the run. He's to the 40. He's taken down around the 44 yard line. First down. And they got it. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They bring him down in the backfield. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Aaron and Atlong. The 
defender had it and then dropped it. Gets out to about the 31. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to put the ball away. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. He's scrambling, and he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it third and three. Down! Down! They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards Still to pick up down. for the first down. Here's third and eight. Ball on their own 33. Four down, four down. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Hot. Open hot. Caught out of the open. He's out of bounds right around midfield. I like the call here. Looking for the big fella here on third down. They have a lot of faith in him as a receiver. Right there, he showed you why. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And they get the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Four down, four down. No, 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 check that, check that. We're on Mike 52 right here. Hey. Yeah. Steps out of bounds at the 40. That makes it fourth and inches. Hey. Four on the ground, and he's not going to get there. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. He gets rid of this one. From their own 41 yard line. It's second down. They'll knock him down for a loss. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Intercepted there. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he just got stood up right there. Well, the coverage team did their job and made the play. Let's see if the defense can continue the effort. You knew that return was doomed as soon as he put his hands on the ball. With the field as messy as it is, he wasn't going anywhere. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Brought down around the 22-yard line. 
That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. They'll spread the field with five wide. Seven yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He scrambled. He's wrapped up for the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. to the 40. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. We played a half. Duke leads. 14 nothing. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Let's not get too carried away by the numbers, but both of these teams averaging less than six yards per pass. It's an indication, it seems, that maybe there's not the personnel out there that really scares this defense that can really stretch the defense. Yeah, we talk about it all the time, having those big-time speed guys and those playmakers on the outsides that, that really make the cornerbacks bail and take away the deep ball. And they're not scared right now. They're just squatting on the outside and saying, you're not going to run by me. You're not going to throw it deep. And all I'm going to do is try to make sure that you catch the underneath stuff and wrap you up and tackle you. So somebody has to emerge as a playmaker, and you have to find the playmakers down the field to make some big home run plays. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Blue Devils continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives that they want to get back in the game. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That makes it second. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. They come out on an empty backfield. He rifles it to the left. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. That's a big game there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's scrambling, and he's taken down to the 21-yard line. Straight ahead on the 
to give, and there's nowhere to run. He's hit right away. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Set, Oklahoma! And he's tackled after positive yardage. He's got the corner, and he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a that brings him second and five. Watch Mike, watch Mike, watch Mike. Stand alert, alert, Oklahoma. Lion, check three. Cut. Run, 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 run. No game. That'll make it 35. Scrambling around. Tackle right around the two yard line. That's good for being three yards. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at about the 41. First down. Got it and brought down immediately. Number four makes the tackle at the 45 yard line. That makes it second and six. Black five! Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's knocked out of bounds around the 45 yard line. That makes it first and ten. And he throws it away. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. Just throws this one away. on completed passes, so the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes it to the 22-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. They'll bring him down right around the 
40. That makes it second and two. You can't block me. You can't block me. Hey, hey. Oh. Hey. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 39. He makes it out to about the 37 yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Hell! Ruin! Ruin! Check three! Check three! He tackles him for a loss. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. He airs it out. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Number 21, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. My 52. All right. Let's say cut. Sacked, and they'll turn it over. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And they push him out at about the 47 yard line. That'll make it second and four. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. Number 22 makes the set score. That makes it first and ten. They're not ready for this, man. Yeah. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. Number 46 on the tackle at the 29-yard line. First down. Yeah. Check Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. So at the end of the third quarter, the Blue Devils in front, 14-3. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And he's leveled at the 28-yard line. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. And he is drilled at the five. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Lateral touchdown, Blue Devils. Making a triple dip, folks. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. Nuke gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. He scrambles. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. That's a team of two on the That makes it second and eight. Sets them up with a first and goal. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And they're looking to get two points here. And the goal line defense digging in here. He's scrambling, and they won't get the two. A nice seven-play, 75-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for running back. Tackle at the 45. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on the 42. Less than three minutes in the game. Takes a hand on. Tackled for a loss. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Mm -hmm. 
It's no surprise seeing this guy having another nice game. You know, you hear a lot of coaches talk about a ball hawk. Well, this is a classic example of a young man that just has a feel who always seems to be able to make plays for this defense. It's getting to the point now where it's just men against boys. This offensive line can almost try to do anything that they want. The thing I always say is that when you're on recess and you're in eighth grade and there's this one big guy that nobody else can block and he's just bigger, stronger, and faster, that, that's, that's what a dominant defensive player can do to an offense. They just can't, there's nothing they can do to stop him. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. Just under two to go in the game. He sails it long. Almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That brings us third and 10. Choose the mic. Watch Mike. Watch that. Hey, hey, hey. Hold it, Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. Uh, alert, alert. Lion, lion. Motion, motion, motion. Hey. Wants to go long and does. And he's immediately tackled. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Here comes the pressure. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackles at about the 13. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And that just might do it. Intercepted. Boy, the defense was all over the ball in the air. They come away with a dagger of an interception. From their own 32-yard line, it's first down. Under a minute left. He makes it to the 35-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. The Wildcats, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 36-yard line. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. The back gets three on the carry. Duke's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.